Hello, my name is Catherine Merritt, and my presentation is about reducing descriptors of a molecular data set. So the overall goal of the project that I was involved in was to compare the complexity of the written and molecular alphabets. On the molecular side, our initial data set had 1,913 theoretically possible molecules and 1,226 descriptors for each molecule. Obviously, that's a lot of descriptors and a bit hard to deal with, so we need to narrow down the number of possible molecular descriptors to a more manageable number, ideally five. Factor reduction was not an option since our target variable would be complexity, but our hope was to use those five descriptors as a representation of complexity. So, our initial solution was to compare the, the R-squared values for all of the columns to each other, and hopefully we would find enough columns were correlated that we could drop down the number of columns to a more manageable amount and choose a few representatives from that. But using this method only reduced the number of our descriptors by half, which was still well over 600 descriptors. So our next attempt included processing the data. That meant getting rid of columns that had uh, more than 20% of their information missing, and then from there filling in the remaining missing cells with the mean of the column they were in, and then dropping columns that had low variance, and finally doing what we did in the first step uh, and dropping highly correlated columns, which for us was a correlation above 0.8. And then after doing all of this, we kept track of which variables made it into the final data set, went back to our original data set and used only those variables, meaning that when we moved into principal component analysis, we still had missing values present. So principal component analysis was the final step, which involved reducing the 169 factors to just one linear combination. In order to perform the principal component analysis, the pre missing values from the previous step had to be replaced with zero, and you can see principal component one and two in the graph here. Only principal component one was used when we actually compared the molecular and written data, but in order to show the results of the PCA, both principal component one and two have been included in the graph. Thank you very much.